Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to show you how to add custom tokens to MetaMask. I will also add you how to add tokens that are not custom. So let's start. First of all, we need to of course open a MetaMask. And by default, once we open MetaMask, we'll see here only Ethereum tokens, there will be no other tokens. But as you can see, I already added swap over here. So let's start how to add other tokens to our MetaMask wallet. First of all, let's click on those three dots over here and then go to expand view. This will open MetaMask in a full view, in a full window like you can see over here. So it will be easier to see what we're doing. Next thing we need to do is to click add tokens down here. And once we do this, we need to make sure the search is selected here. And over here we can type in the symbol of the token that we are looking for to add. So let's say we want to add KNC token, which is Kyber Network. We write KNC, it will find the token, we click on it, then we click next. It will show us the balance that we have on our wallet and the name of the token. If everything is okay, we click add tokens. And right now we simply added KNC over here to the list of tokens that we can see on our wallet. However, some of the tokens are not available to be added through search. For example, if we want to add TRB, which is Tributes or Tellor, uh, this is a project that is similar to Chainlink or BAT, however, it's not as popular yet. So the market cap is quite low, which means that's why it's not yet added to MetaMask. So as you can see, we cannot find it on the list. So in this case, we need to click up here to Custom Token. And then over here, we need to type Token Contract Address. We can paste it over here. So let me show you where to find this token contract address. This token contract address can be found, for example, on Etherscan, but the safest way to find it would be to go to coinpaprika.com or coinmarketcap.com. Once you open coinpaprika or coinmarketcap, we need to go to the search box and then type which token are we looking for. So in this case, I'm looking for TRB, which is Tributes, another name is Tellor. So I would click on it. And once the page opens, it will look similar on CoinMarketCap. So once the page opens, we need to find Explorer. And then as you can see over here, there is ETH Token Explorer. So I'm gonna click on it. And this should open Etherscan with the token that we selected. So in this case, it's token called Tellor or Tributes. Short is TRB. And what we're looking for on this page is contract. Contract is over here. So as you can see, contract is visible here. So all we need to do here is to click copy address. This moment the address was copied. And then we go back to MetaMask. And we need to paste this address over here in this place. So all we have to do is click over here and then press Ctrl V to paste or right click and then choose paste. And after we paste the contract address, it should show the token symbol over here and decimals of precision. So as soon as you paste the contract address here, you should see if the symbol is correct or not. And then we click next. It will show us the token symbol or the token name here. It will show us the balance that we have on our wallet at the moment. This is just a test wallet, so I'm not storing it over here. I'm storing it on a different wallet. And then we click add tokens. Once we add the tokens, we can go back and we will see the tokens on the list. So this is how we add custom tokens. You can add this way any token that is on CoinPaprika or any token that is on CoinMarketCap or even new tokens that are not there. In the case of new tokens that are not on CoinPaprika or CoinMarketCap, you would have to find the website of the project and usually on their website somewhere in the documentation, you can find contract address on the website of this particular token. Uh, another way to find tokens would be to type in token name over here in the search box on Etherscan. So uh, let's say we would be uh, looking for trust swap. And then if the token is on Etherscan, as we can see, there is trust swap token. However, this way uh, we need to be careful because sometimes some people add fake tokens, as you can see over here or over here or over here. So with this way, you need to be careful. It's better to just use CoinPaprika or CoinMarketCap 
or simply go directly to the website of the project and then find the token contract address there. So that would be it for today. Please let me know in the comments if you managed to add custom tokens to MetaMask and remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.